Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 fantasy adventure film Dragon Knight. A film that is directed by Laurie Brewster and it stars Megan Tremthick, Eric Redman, Emily Louise Knutson, Laurie Brewster, Brittany Monroe, Gordon Joseph Miller and Stephen Kerr, as well as many others. Uh, right, this film is is obviously based in like uh, a fantasy land uh, in years gone by dragons were a reality um, and they helped protect the land but this malevolent force has taken over called abaddon um, and he is you know being very oppressive to the population uh, the dragons are now extinct uh, so they can't really fight back however there is a dragon knight um, who is searching along with uh, an assassin and a squire to find the lost dragon in order to help them fight back against Abaddon. Right, what are my thoughts on Dragon Knight? Well, this is a low-budget affair um, that is, it has quite an admirable attempt at trying to uh, give us one of those, like, you know, cheesy type fantasy films we used to get all the times in the 80s and the 90s in particular. Um, that I think there are lots of problems here with this film. I'm not, you know, there's no sense, you know, saying that this film is awesome and outstanding because it isn't. In some aspects, it's, it's garbage here and there. But in other aspects, you know, there's a lot of effort um, and it's quite admirable what they're trying to give you on screen with the budget that they've got. And for me, what I always like about these sort of films, especially low-budget ones, um, is A, the effort, and B, um, sometimes when they don't take themselves too seriously, it allows you as an audience member to kind of get a little bit more enjoyment and immersion out of the film. And this film actually does that quite well. There we are um, a couple of characters here that kind of L lend like a lighter element to the film that kind of allow you not to take it seriously there's the squire for example who's a bit like the comic relief and he's a bit like the moral compass he's kind of like the audience member really as you know as part of the uh, cast he's kind of seeing it from our point of view almost um i do think the costumes look pretty good um they're, they're not they don't look like the straight out of a fancy dress costume or something like that they look pretty decent the costumes um, especially for this like evil army um, they've got like these faceless masks on sort of thing you never get to see what's underneath now ordinarily you know with a bigger budgeted film you there would be a big reveal of what's underneath the mask sort of thing but you never really get it here and that's obviously because the budget won't allow it so but the the air of mystery kind of holds it together in regards to what could be under there so i quite liked that the effects for the dragon, or dragons, I mean, initially you get like uh, a couple of scenes right at the beginning uh, with some dragons in, and then right at the end you get a scene, There's some scenes with a, with air dragon in. And I actually think the dragon design and how it's been like rendered and stuff, it looks pretty good for a low budget film. Um, it actually doesn't do a bad job, I have to say, in regards to the effects. Uh, and some of the set designs and uh, locations that they choose like you know they, they 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 choose to like film in like what looks like a, a genuine castle um at one point in the film which again adds to the immersion and a couple of other things you know you see them going on quests they're going over deserts and they're going through forests and all this kind of stuff they're doing the normal thing that these guys doing these movies going on these epic quests um and it's got a quite a simple story as well you know um, Abaddon's bad, he's taking over the whole land these three need to go on a quest to find this lost dragon in order to help them fight back against this evil it's a fairly simple story I like that, some low budget films try to over complicate things by throwing everything they can at the screen including a really complicated story that just drags it down and you just lose energy for watching the film none of that here, it's a fairly simple story to follow but saying all that, there, are, there is some ridiculous overacting going on at times in the film. 
Um, not in a bad way, though. In in quite an entertaining way. Uh, the guy who plays like the Dragon Knight is like is like the voiceover guy from the eighties trailers. I mean, he's is I think he's Scots. Sounds he sounded Scots. Um, and he's like really gravelly and growly and shouty. And everything he does is like really gravelly and shouty and over the top. It was it was quite hilarious actually. Initially, I, I was I was not impressed with it. I thought, oh no, we're going to get this all the way through. But you kind of warm to it a little bit. But it is, I mean, some of the characters are you know way over the top, but in quite a pantomime way. It's not really terrible. Um, I'd like to say that I thought like the battle scenes and the and the sword fights were done really well. Um, they, I've seen far worse, but. They were fairly lackluster, and there was a couple of like impact shots here and there, especially when they were going to like take heads off. I mean, this isn't a gory or graphic film in any way, um, so they don't really show any decapitations or heads coming off or any of that sort of stuff. But there's a couple of scenes where they um, are clearly going to decapitate someone that they don't actually show, but it's very, very clear when they swing the sword that they're just stopping dead of the neck, sort of thing, um, and they do it in slow motion, sort of thing, to to emphasize the fact that the head's coming off but you never believe it is they kind of should have maybe followed through off camera and chopped a watermelon in half or something like that just to give it some impact so yeah it's not horrifically bad or anything this it's pretty cheesy it's a throwback to what we used to get in years gone by we don't get enough for like fantasy adventure films these days uh, so this is worth checking out if you're a fan of the genre it's probably be able to pick it up fairly cheap i would imagine on the supermarket shelves in a few weeks uh, give it a go if it's your sort of thing. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.